Hello, everyone. It's William here at Allegory Gallery. Um, I hope you're doing great out there. It's been a hectic day. We've been doing a lot here. Um, uh, a lot of it is for this show today. I wanted to uh, get everything in the online store for you all so it was easier um, to actually see all this stuff. Uh, and purchase it because I know that sending emails and stuff, it's hard for me. It's hard for you all a little bit harder. Um, I can't do this all the time, but I had some time today. So I was able to put these items in the online store. So anything we show you today is going to be in the online store waiting for you already in just a moment though. If you're watching the replay, it's already there. Um, but I haven't made them active in the online store for this yet. I figure we're gonna chat a little bit. And then when we get to the show, when we get to that portion at about 5.30 today, um, I'm gonna hit the button and they're going to go into the online store. So um, you don't need to look at the online store yet. It's all right, we can just sit and chat. If you're out there, say hello. Let me know you're out there. Um, hello, Suzanne, AGB fam out there. Um, so much stuff going on recently. Um, it's just a madhouse here. Um, but we are getting ready for Tucson. Before that, Andrew is going down to ECU for a symposium. So um, we have kind of that little thing in the middle before, you know, we got to get ready for Tucson, but he has to also do that. And he's going to, I think, drive down there and then drive back and continue working on stuff. Um, I'm going to start working on some enameling and some earrings and pendants. Um, we're trying to create kind of a new-ish display for the store. Um, We've been uh, trying to work on that and we're going to continue working on that. I'll be going over to the cottage here after this presentation and to start trying to set up a dry run of the table and kind of get our bearings on where and what's going to go on the table and where things are going to go um, so that we're not doing that at the last minute. We have TGBE a week from tomorrow. What? Um, yeah, so TGBE Midwinter Market is next weekend, everybody. Did you know that? Did you realize that? Um, it's sneaking up on me. This is the same time that Andrew's going to be out of town, uh, which makes it interesting for us. Uh, we have moved our time slot. Normally we're at about 11.15, I think, or 11.30 in the morning Eastern time here. Uh, for the TGBE and we kick things off for the weekend. We are usually the first presenter. Um, we are not the first presenter this time. We are going to be the last presenter on Saturday. So I think we're starting at 8.15 p.m. So we're going to see what this new time slot does for us. But what it does do, um, hopefully people will be out there watching, but what it does do is it allows Andrew to be finished hopefully with all his symposium stuff that's going on. And then um, I will be here or at Star Cottage Studio, but I will be in Ligonier doing part of it and he will be there doing part of it. So we also have to work out that technology before he goes um, to make sure that we're all good and we know what we're doing and how we're doing it uh, for the TGBE Midwinter Market. So quite exciting times. Um, and then Andrew will be coming back here, working on some more things and then heading back down to North Carolina um, just before Tucson to pick up Cynthia. They're gonna take our van. So they're gonna pack up the van down there with her stuff. And Azalea I think is going too. And they're gonna head across the country then um, to to you know do stuff to sell stuff to to buy stuff hopefully um it's, it's gonna be a lot a lot is going on so um all the kind of things we're putting into the store andrew's doing paintings as many of you have seen um, if you saw his video on tuesday he showed off some of his little fruity paintings and um, some of you have grabbed some of those so we appreciate that we have mystery boxes in the store in the online store so you can grab those they are a pre-order item um, we're going to work hard to try and get those out before he leaves for Tucson. Um, uh, so we have lots of stuff. We have these new things that we're going to show you today. We have horn items, um, some pendants, some beads, some buttons. 
Uh, we have some new gemstones we're going to show you today. And um, all of this stuff is going to go toward making money to pay for that, um, that trip to Tucson because it and North Carolina. Um, it's not inexpensive. Uh, and we did not have a great holiday season. Uh, nothing like what we normally have. So um, we're down quite a bit in the store. And so we are um, doing our best to make up for that. Um, Andrew says, we made the decision not to rearrange the schedule and tagged us on the end so that folks on the West Coast don't have to get up so early. Yeah, um, we, didn't, we didn't shift anything. We just threw us on at the end. So the, the event, it's a good point. The event is going to start a little later than it usually does. Um, but we're going to jump on at the very end at 8.15, I believe it is. 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time, 5.15 p.m. Um, Pacific Coast. And um, that will be the last presentation. We will be the last presentation on Saturday for the TGBE. Um, and we're going to put up the schedule on our page. We haven't done that yet, but I did put up our blurb, our little... Um, we, we each make a little card that has us on it. So our time slot, I just posted to our Facebook page. So you can make sure you can check that out and save that if you want to make sure you don't miss us. Um, but I'm sure you all watch everybody, right? So it doesn't matter. You're going to definitely see us. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now in the immediate future. Um, I am going to... Uh, Andrew says the final schedule will launch tomorrow. So there you go. I can't even put up the schedule yet because it's not out. Um, I know our little schedule's out, so I put that up. Um, and, oh, so in, you'll notice, maybe, maybe you'll notice we are not streaming into the TGBE group today for this live. Why is that? Today is a spotlight day. So, uh, we used to do TGBE takeover days, and if you are paying attention, you are probably like, why is no one doing a takeover right before the TGBE event? They always do takeovers right before the TGBE event. Um, and we used to do takeovers to kind of bring your attention to the TGB event coming up. And um, that's why I wanted to make sure I mentioned it today because we didn't do that, and it may be surprising you all that it's coming up next weekend. Um, so the TGBE takeovers have been canceled, kind of. So we used to do about four weeks before the event, and um, we'd go like Monday through Thursday, and four businesses or so every week would have a takeover day, and that would fill up the TGBE group's timeline. So the, the idea with takeover days is each business took over one day and they could tell you anything they wanted about the business. They could do anything, they giveaways, they could do prizes, they could do games, um, videos, pre-recorded demos, whatever they wanted to do. Um, so as Andrew said, rebrand. We've rebranded the takeover days and we're calling them spotlight days. And so now, um, I think people didn't understand what takeover days were and why we were doing them. And it was one to showcase each company. Each company got a day. Um, for example, uh, if Softflex were on a day, we could not post to the timeline in the TGBE group unless it was about Softflex. And so I think people got a little confused about why we were doing that. So we said, let's not take up the four, three or four weeks before the event. Let's spread these out over the year. Let's spread them out. Um, Andrew says, I think it used to be a nice way to get to know the presenters before the events. It's true. But a lot of you know us right now, right? A lot of you know us. And so we decided to rebrand takeover days as spotlight days. So now on most Thursdays, not every Thursday, but most Thursdays throughout the entire year, um, each Thursday will be dedicated to another company within the Great Beat Extravaganza membership. So um, today, it's Thursday. It's the first Thursday of the year. Um, so Softlex is doing their spotlight day. And they can put anything on there they want. They put a nice video about us on there because we used Softlex materials, uh, beading wire, in that uh, video. So they posted a video that we had done before. Um, they've done some for the other uh, members in the TGBE collective. And um, 
So they're having a fun time. They did some coffee and I forget what they called it, coffee and crafts, coffee and crafting. Um, they did one of those videos and I started watching it today, but I didn't get to finish it, but it was really nice. So what these are, they are spotlight days and every Thursday, almost every Thursday in the TGBE group, one of the members in the TGBE membership, the, the collective here is going to take over a Thursday. So we cannot go live in the TGBE like we're doing in other groups right now on Thursdays unless it's us. Um, but it's still a great way for you to get to know all the companies in the TGBE. And if you pay attention on Thursdays, you never know what might come up. They might give, do giveaways, they might do demos, you never know. But Thursday is going to be a great day if you normally, you know, you don't, you don't always watch the TGBE group. You only usually watch if there's a big event going on. Well, now it's easy. Now it's easy to, on Thursdays, on your calendar, just know that most Thursdays is going to be a great day to watch the TGBE group and get to know the presenters. Not that every day isn't a great day. We broadcast the TGBE most days for these, so it's nice to watch there too. But um, if you really want that kind of concentrated you know, allegory gallery, then you can watch when we're on our Thursday or soft legs or, you know, uh, anybody, um, anybody, Christy, uh, Kay, you know, it, 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 it's, it's all of us. We get a chance. Um, and we're going to do that. Each company gets three to four times um, throughout the year. And we're spreading it out so that, um, you know, you don't see Allegory Gallery four weeks in a row, you know, um, even though that'd be okay with me. But um, yeah, so it might, it might wear me out, actually, because the takeover days, um, which are now spotlight days, are intense on our side because we get the entire day that no one else interrupts us um, unless they're talking about us, saying good things about us. Um, so no one else gets to interrupt us. And so we try to chalk that day full of stuff. Like we want you to know where Allegory Gallery came from and, you know, how we started and our history. We often do that kind of thing. Sometimes we have little treasure hunts on our website or, um, you know, various giveaways throughout the day. Um, so we always try and do something a little different, but mainly to give you an idea of who we are in case you're watching for the first time which a lot of the people in the TGBU group might be. Um, let's see. Let's see who's with me right now. Um, Suzanne, we said, hi, Marianne. Hello. Norma is with us. Donna, Teresa. Um, of course, Andrew is here. Amanda joined in. So she is here. Um, let's see. Susan, uh, Coffee and Craft Wire, Marianne. Yes, Coffee and Craft Wire. Thank you. That's what uh, Softlex did a presentation today. They did a live video. Uh, Sarah and Kristen um, were having fun, so I hope you'll tune in and rewatch that if you missed it. Um, Andrew said there's also a surprise in the schedule, so keep an eye out for it. Yes, the TGBE has a surprise in the schedule this time. Um, so be sure to check out the schedule when it debuts manana, tomorrow, everybody. And then next Friday is the kickoff. It's the, at I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern time is our uh, preview night. So any of the members that can get along and hang out together um, in on that day, um, you know, some people are gonna be traveling, some people are doing things. So not everyone can always join in the preview night, but I think most people are gonna try. So we're gonna be doing the preview night on Friday. I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern time, so that would be 5 p.m. Pacific. And then um, Saturday and Sunday, full day's worth of stuff. So keep an eye out for the, the calendar, the schedule to come out. We're going to post that as soon as we're able to tomorrow. Um, Andrew says, and it's not just our new time slot. No, that's not the, that's not the only surprise. Um, our new time slot is certainly a surprise maybe for you this time, but um, that's not the only one. So stay tuned. Make sure you, you are, you got your eyes peeled for that, for that schedule to come out. So what time is it? I got a little bit of time to keep talking. Um, so that's going on. Tucson is going on. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'll be going up to the cottage right after this video um, to, to um, start working on setup stuff. And um, I see Andrew's there. He was up all night painting again. 
Um, he's have some nice paintings coming out that, that, that you're going to get to see at some point when he finishes um, that series that he's making. Or if he debuts them before that, I don't know what his plans are. But um, uh, he took a nap, and I see he's up again. So I don't know if he's going to join me. I also have to run up to Johnstown to our building up there today. Um, and uh, we like to run up there every once in a while and make sure things are okay. Today's, I think, going to be that day, or maybe tomorrow. Um, we have classes in store tomorrow. So um, if you're local, come on in. Jen's going to be here for classes. Um, so that's a nice um, time to come in and get to know who we are if you don't know us uh, and you're local. Um, I'm going to ask you all to hit that share button right now if you haven't already. Um, that helps share it not only you know, with your friends, but who knows who may see it. And if you're local, that even helps even more because you'll share it to some of our local friends and maybe we'll get some local people in the store, which would be nice. Um, most, uh, I should, I don't know about most, but a lot of our customers come from Pittsburgh and come from other areas when they're vacationing or taking a day trip into town. Um, but for classes, it's a great time for local people to be able to come in. Um, Andrew says, it was nice to see them today. I miss Kristen. I told her that her son needs to go do band camp again. I know, right? She can stay with us and hang out. It was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, Andrew said, maybe let's go tomorrow. We can get lunch at the new restaurant. That would be nice. Yeah, maybe we'll do that since Jen will be in for classes. Um, I think Jen's back in town. I haven't confirmed, which I need to, but she did say, she told me on her schedule that she would be here this, this Friday. So um, we should have classes in the store. That should free me up a little bit tomorrow. Um, we'll maybe run to Johnstown then because we got some stuff to do tonight. I am going to, I do think I have to, maybe we'll do the Walmart run tomorrow. I don't know. I have to run to Walmart. Uh, many of you know that for my, for our anniversary, I got a Cricut, a Cricut Maker 3. And um, uh, I've been starting to play around with it a little bit. Um, not a lot yet, but we are planning to make some uh, earring cards and pendant cards and things like that for the display that we're making. And um, I just lost track. <laughs> we're making this. Sorry, my brain's flying. Um, we're going to make those and we're going to try using the Cricut to make those. I've never made them before on that. I've never even used it, but a few times we did the demo that it takes you through when you set it up. There's a nice little demo it takes you through. And I tried to cut one little other thing or two other little things, uh, mostly trying to see if I might be able to make our t-shirts again, because I would like to, you know, get our t-shirts up and running in production maybe again, um, for those of you who keep asking us about them. Um, so we'll see. But um, I, I played around with it just a little bit, but I'm going to try and make some earring cards, but I have to go to Walmart because, um, or Michael's, but Walmart's closer to us. Um, of course, if we're jo up Johnstown tomorrow, maybe we'll just go to Michael's tomorrow. But anyway, I need to buy, uh, there, there are these mats that you use in the Cricut. And my Cricut doesn't necessarily need mats for everything, but for some of the things, and I think cardstock, that's one of those. Um, so I have to go and get a mat to put the cardstock on because I think it needs it. I'm pretty sure it needs it. I tried running it through without the machine here today. I was, I was playing around with the software and it seemed to want to do it with a mat and only with a mat. So um, that's maybe tomorrow's plan. Andrew says, I'd love to go to Pittsburgh to get a better paper selection. That would be nice. I don't know if that's in the cards um, for us or not, but maybe we'll, at least, maybe we'll go to Johnstown and Michael's is right up there. Um, while we're already up there, we'll go have lunch. We'll go to Michael's and get some, maybe some nicer paper. And then, um, and get some mats for the cricket and put it to work, put it to work tomorrow, maybe. And also wanting to work on using the cricket to make um, screens for enameling so that we can maybe enamel some of our wooden pendants and things. Um, we did get some news on the laser. Andrew wrote to their customer service um, and sent them an email asking, why does our new laser not work? And they apparently are, they have, they can, they can, because everything is, you know, online, they pulled the logs from our laser, which apparently it presents them with logs as it's running. 
And they went through those logs and they found out that the laser is not communicating with the head of the laser. So the brains of the laser is not communicating with the pretty much the hand, the, the laser head that prints everything or cuts everything. It's not communicating correctly. So we have to do some diagnose stuff, diagnosis stuff and take some pictures and send it to them. So we are going to <coughs> have to do that tonight as well um, to try and get this laser up and running as quickly as we can because we would love to use it um, to make things for Tucson. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible, how quickly they can fix it, what they're going to have to do if they have to send us a new head or a new ribbon um, that connects everything together. But at least it made me feel better that we got some news and we're not crazy. Like um, sometimes I feel like when you, you, you know, talk to customer service, they think you're crazy or that you don't know technical stuff or, and like we had know how to use the laser. We've had it for years. Um, so we're not crazy. We didn't do something wrong. It is the laser that is having issues and they can see those issues. So hopefully that will be fixed um, in enough time that we can start producing some stuff for Tucson. Uh, yeah, and then that's, so that's what's going on. That's kind of what's going on here the last, um, <laughs> the last day. This is what we all uh, have been working on and decided to work on in the last day. So it's been, it's been a day. Um, I don't know where today went. Uh, I've been here since 11 today. Um, I thought we were going to have one of our customers stop by. Um, they placed an order online, but they didn't come in today. Uh, so maybe the plans changed. So I was kind of waiting around because I was, in, I was excited to chat with them. Um, but they didn't come in today, but they should hopefully come in soon. Um, and uh, but there were some customers in, which was nice. Uh, it was nice to see people. It's been so dead. Um, yesterday we had zero sales in the store. The day before we had $2.50. Um, so that's the kind of time it is right now. And um, so thank you all who are online out there watching us, um, who, you know, are supporting us because you are keeping this ship afloat right now. And we're working hard on some things. We're trying to get some new stuff done and some other stuff done. Um, like today we have some horn stuff and some gemstones to show you. Um, so it's going to, this is some nice stuff and I hope you like it. It was sunny today. I took some pictures in the light. That was pretty amazing. Um, it was pretty, pretty interesting to see the day, the sunlight again. And, um, but yeah, it's dark now and I have no idea where the day went. No idea at all. Um, so yeah, uh, I think, what time is it? 5.25. I'm close to being right on time to start the show. Um, I said in the description we start around 5.30 today, so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's see what else is everybody saying out there. Uh, Donna says, I love your t-shirts. Thank you. Yeah, we'd like to make some more. Um, the biggest problem with that is, you know, we like to supply all the colors. We like the rainbow, y'all. But to buy all the colors of shirts in all the sizes needed, um, it's a big investment. And um, honestly, we don't sell a lot of t-shirts when we had them. And I'd love to sell more, but um, because these are super soft, like once they go, like if I get a stain on it or once it starts wearing out, I then use these for bed because they're so nice and soft. They're just so comfortable, but um, it's an investment. So, uh, we have to see if we can do them or if we can find a supplier. Maybe we'll have to do one color or two colors. Um, or we raise the price, which, you know, we always hate to do. But um, the T-shirts might be more expensive because we have to buy them in smaller quantities. But if that's something you all want, we can look into that too. Marion says, at least you got a response from customer service. Yes, that was delightful. And it was quick. They responded within, you know, probably 12 hours or so, um, which was pretty amazing. But I think part of it was we already had the the, the chain going because Andrew had emailed them about the new laser and, and the old laser. And they already had that communications chain going so they could look right at the history and what's going on. Andrew said, we're going to have a peeling party before Tucson. Yeah, all the wooden pendants need to be peeled. And I keep looking. I have to remember... Um, 
when we're at Walmart slash Michaels to find Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape is the only tape that works almost perfectly. Um, duct tape is okay, but it takes more time and more applications. Uh, Gorilla Tape is pretty dang good and it helps peel those pendants. So um, I gotta get more of that because we're almost, we're almost out. Uh, let's see, Amanda says, when does Andrew leave for Tucson? I don't know. He's going to leave for New North Carolina at some point, and then he's going to leave from there to head over to Tucson. So it all depends on when that lines up with his family and what they're doing. Um, he might have the date set already, um, but I don't have it in the calendar. But it'll be at some point. It has to leave at some point, right? Um, enough time to drive all the way across the country. Uh, it takes a few days. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a long drive there and back. Hello, Harry. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, Teresa. Uh, Marion says a limited color choice would be fine. Suzanne says everything has gone up, right? It has. Everything has gone up. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and that's the reason why, uh, the, well, one of the reasons why the person who was doing our t-shirts had to stop because we weren't selling enough that bringing in quantity worked out. So, um, you know, it wasn't it wasn't worth it to her um, because she was like selling them at her cost at that point. So it wasn't it was getting rough because everything started going up with the pandemic. Andrew says maybe we'll make a special T-shirt so that it's different and fun. Maybe, maybe we could do that. Do do a limited edition yearly T-shirt or something like that. Maybe we'll do that. Um, Susan says, my big guy Smokey is sitting on my lap. He's doing better from his dental surgery on Tuesday, but he's a little clingy right now. So I wonder if the painkillers are wearing off. Yeah, he might be. I might be. I know that dental surgery is, um, it can take a while to recover sometimes. Um, Paolo had to have that done. And I hope Gilbert doesn't have to, but Gilbert, I think his teeth are, are leaning toward that way. So we'll see. But I, I'm, I, I'm glad Smokey is doing, at least doing better. Are doing well um but yeah give him some love give him some love right let's see here okay it is 5 30 just now as i look down it turned so let me flip the camera around and we're gonna look at some gemstones and some horn stuff today and before i do that right now i'm gonna put these things active in the online store um now, uh, I updated the online store a little bit, and you can tell me if you like it or not, because it can be changed. It can all be changed. But at the top of the online store now, I kind of have four or five sections that list all of the collections that are available. Um, I had this feeling that maybe, sorry, I'm running after 5.30, but I had this feeling that maybe people in the online store, when they get to our homepage, if you don't scroll through it all, you might miss a lot of stuff. Um, or if you don't use the menu to select things. So I kind of brought that down to the top of the homepage. And then anything that we want to showcase um, at any point in time will go right below that. So right now, mystery boxes are right below that. The last chance gemstone sale, which ends tomorrow night, that's below that. And the uh, the retirement cell for our AG wooden pendants, the, the, the ones that we are retiring, is below that, I believe. Um, so those two cells are going to end very soon. The gemstone cell will end on Friday. I don't know if we're going to end the pendant cell, the retirement cell at the same time or not. Um, so get any of those that you want to. But I think this will make it a little bit more clear all the things that we have in the online store. Um, I think it made it a little bit confusing for some people like they come to our shop and they're like well where are your stringing materials you said you have vintage seed beads but where are they so now all the collections are presented um, at the top um, and then anything we want to showcase will be presented below that um, so hopefully that makes it a little more clear i hope it doesn't i hope you like it and it's not annoying i don't know i don't think it's annoying um the only thing is is it says shop for a lot of times because that little collection it makes me do that i don't know why i can't clear it out i'm gonna keep looking at it but um for now i think it does make the home page a little bit more clear though i put them in alphabetical order i think um 
as long as my alphabet was okay today. And so when you go to allegorygallery.com, it might look different, it will look different, um, unless you've been there today already. Um, but hopefully it makes sense. I hope it makes more sense and people can find things easier when they're looking for them. Um, you can always use the search function, I know, but um, there's also an issue, the search function on the mobile devices, it's very hard to see what you're typing into search and I know that and I'm not sure how to fix that. It's with the template and I haven't been able to really fix that that well. So stick with us. We're going to keep trying. We're going to keep trying. Donna says, just saw that and it looks great. Thank you. I, I think it's going to make things easier for people to find stuff. I hope. I hope. Um, Andrew said, leave for North Carolina on the 12th and then drive back on the 16th. Then I'll be home for a few days. Our show starts on the 27th. I don't know if we're allowed to set up on the 26th or not. If we can, it takes four days to drive. So we'll leave at least on the 22nd. Um, and I'll drive down a day or two before that. So there you go. Busy, busy, busy. Andrew says, we need to have a tire cell, y'all. <laughs> Gonna have to pray for Stella Bluebell. Yeah, yeah. Um, should be okay. The tires came out okay on the inspection, but they are, the problem is, is they are summer tires. They are not winter tires. And so if it is cold across the country in any place where it would get icy, it's a little bit, a little bit dicey. So hopefully we can at least get two winter tires on the front, maybe. Suzanne says, I like the new look. Thank you. I'm glad. I hope it makes sense. Now, I'm going to set these new items as active. So everything I'm going to show you today is within the next few moments going to be in the online store in their various categories. But you can always go still shop tab latest editions and you can see all this new stuff. If you want to just grab it now, you can. But we're going to show it to you here um, today so you can see it in video so you can see what it looks like. Um, I am also going to go to the shop tab or the latest editions tab right now because I need to know the prices that I put on these things so I can quote you all while while we're talking. Um, so there you go. I could have written them down, but that would have been that would have been the easy thing to do. Maybe not. It's actually not so easy, which is why I didn't do it. Um, but we can go in the order of things in the latest editions, and that'll make sense. I think. I think that'll make sense for everybody. All right, so let's flip this camera around and let's see what we've got to show you today. I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to lower the camera here and then we're going to flip the actual front back to front camera. All right, we got a little blue here, which I think gives nice color. Seems like seems like people like the blue. Um, and so the first thing we're going to look at is this giant horn pendant. This is horn. And this is a about 74 millimeter by 74 millimeter pendant. This is 12 or I'm sorry, $16, $16 in the online store right now. Nice pendant. Beautiful. If you like big things, I love it. I think it's really nice. This one is the one matte pendant that we have. I'm going to show you some other ones here, but they're going to be more glossy. Um, so this is a beautiful matte pendant done in horn, um, $16 only in the online store. It's there. There's only one. If you want it, go get it now. And I should say also, remember, we combine shipping. So if you say, I want this, but I don't know if I'm going to want anything else in the video, you can go put that in your cart, check out right now, and... Um, and, and do it again later because when we uh, ship everything, we will combine everything together. We, we go through all of your orders, whether they're invoices or in the online store, we try our best to combine them and we only charge you the shipping that we're charged and then we refund the rest. So it may take a little while to get the refund going, but you will get your money back if you've overpaid on shipping. All right, so that's one item. And the next one is this one. And it looks like it's cracked um, and maybe it kind of is, but it's solid. Don't worry. It's not going to fall apart on you. I was like, da, 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 it's fine. Um, it goes all the way through <coughs> the way this was done. If you really hold it up to the light, it's mirrored. So 
um, I don't know how they cut the horn or what they did to it, but the 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 internal kind of um, structure that you can see is kind of mirrored here along here. So this one is also sixteen dollars. This is about fifty three by ninety one millimeters. 53 by 91 millimeters. And for anybody who would prefer that in inches, so it's about two inches by three and a half. About two inches by three and a half. I love these pendants. I think they're beautiful, beautiful pendants. Okay, so that's that one. And then the last one is this one. Last one is this one. These are super lightweight. Um, as Andrew said, it's big but it's lightweight. These are super lightweight, super lightweight. And so this one is 53 by 91 millimeters as well. Same thing when I say two inches by three and a half inches about. Beautiful, beautiful horn pendant, $16 as well. Andrew says it's a natural material, so it is what it is. Sometimes um, they'll steam the natural shed horn and flatten it out. So there you go. Beautiful natural horn pendants. Um, I do believe these may have a, these have a more of a glossy coating on them. This one is a matte. Um, so whatever you like, but there are three large pendants for you to choose from if you'd like any of those. $16 each. Now the next thing up, we have these beautiful horn carved rondelles. And these are really lovely. Like they have a lot of beautiful character to them, especially on the sides you're gonna see, which is generally that side, unless you're hanging it in some way, um, using a head pin or something like that. Um, these would be, these would make a really cool if you stack them and make a little pendant out of them like that, something like that, they'd be really nice. Um, so these are horn. And these are rondelle beads. They're about 17 millimeters wide to about 20. These three are very nearly, one's 19, the other two are 20. This one is 17 millimeters. You get the set of four for $6, $6. So the set of four, only $6 in stock in the online store until somebody grabs it. Andrew said, if you do want these glossy ones, these pendants to be matte, you can lightly buff them with a wet, dry sandpaper at a really high grit, like 1000, and it'll take the shine off. So if you wanted to do that, you could and end up with something like this. Okay, so these are these little rondelles. They come in a set of four, um, $6 for the set of four. I think that's what, $1.50 each? That's a pretty good deal. All right, and then we have these kind of, I call these barrel beads. Um, they're kind of barrels, maybe, kind of. They're more geogra or geographic, not geographic. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I can't think anymore. Anyway, um, geometry is what I'm thinking. Geometric, not geographic, geometric. They're cut off here, and they're a little bit sharper edged than a barrel, maybe. Um, but they're kind of cool. I think they're really cool, actually. Geometric, see, that's the one I'm looking for. Thank you. Somebody just bought something. We appreciate that. Um, it looks like that large. It looks like this one sold, everybody. At least that sold. I don't know if anything else in there sold, but thank you, whoever that was. Geometric. Um, I love the color in these. Like, I think that cutaway, like you reveal some of the colors in those as they're cut away. I think these are beautiful. Um, these are approximately 14 millimeter by 18 millimeter. There goes another uh, cell. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. I love that sound. I love that sound so much. Those rondelles sold. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, these are these horn barrel beads. Um, uh, Trace says looks like drums, right? Donna says, that was me. I love the pendant because it's so unique, right? It's so cool. They're, they're all really cool. I actually really like this one. Um, it almost it looks like it was put back together. And I just, I love that kind of look in there. I love that. I think it's just so cool. And this one's cool too because it's matte. I love that. Anyway, back to these. These are about 17, I'm sorry, 14 by 18 millimeter. This is about a seven inch strand. Um, and these are natural carved horn. 
Marion says, you're welcome. I got the rundown. It was awesome. Thank you. So there you go. I like these a lot. And as you can see, these have pretty large holes. These are at least probably two to three millimeter holes. So you see that large, maybe, the large strand running through there. It's pretty thick. Um, the holes on these, it's better with the calipers. These are at least two, two and a half millimeter holes. So your larger leather would be nice through there. All right, so there's that. Next up, I love these so much. These little carved horn little sticks. They're center drilled, center drilled sticks. Let me see if I can put them on here. I think they'll look better. There we go. These are approximately three millimeters by 15 millimeters center drilled, and it's about an eight inch strand. <coughs> we have two of these strands. They're $10 each only. Andrew says, I sort of want to drill holes and embed decorative staples in the large pendants. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Donna says, plus I love bone and horn, right? Andrew says, I love these. They have a beautiful amber glow. They do. They look like amber. Um, beautiful colors, dark and light. We have two strands of these available. Uh, Facebook user is just getting on. Looks like some nice things. We're trying. We're trying to get you some nice things. There goes another bell. Thank you so much, whoever that was. Um, and whatever you're purchasing, we appreciate that. Looks like those barrels went. So the barrels are sold out now. So thank you, whoever that was. Um, so right now we have two strands of these available um, at $10 per strand only. And so there's a lot of little beads on there. Imagine what you could do with beautiful earrings with those. I think that'd be so cool. Or even just turn it into a bracelet. I mean, look how pretty that is. Natural horn. All right, so we have two strands of those available, $10 each. Uh, let's see, up next then, oh, these make such a good sound. Donna got the barrels too, plus another strand. Thank you. So these, oh, don't they make a nice sound? For all of you who like the sounds, it's almost like rain, rain on the metal roof. Um, these are, I called them horn paddle drop beads. Um, they're about 13 millimeter by 34 millimeter, approximately. I just measured a few of them and they were around there. Um, they do vary in size. I have two strands of these available in the online store that I got in there today. And they are beautiful. I mean, look. They're like semi-transparent. They have that beautiful almost, it's like that matte finish, like a semi-gloss finish. Andrew says that ASMR, right? Bonnie says they are spectacular. Thank you. These are lovely. Two strands of these available. Horn paddle drop beads, 13 by 34 millimeters. All of these are available in the online store right now. We have some people already buying them up so thank you so much um, these are $32 a strand and I think that's a really good deal there goes another bell thank you so much I don't know what that was let's take a look and see if any of these things so far we didn't sell out on any of these yet yet um, uh, let's see here Bonnie says was drawing in my art journal today between laundry and watching the live nice that's a nice thing to do um, Susan says, beautiful, like that sound too. Andrew said, earrings would be light as a feather. Yeah, with these, make some nice earrings. Find the ones that look the same size, like those two would be nice earrings together, right? Super duper light, but very impressive, very impressive. Um, you could add a few of these and, you know, do a little feather effect for earrings, and that would be nice. Um, beautiful. Both strands are approximately, let me show you, they look very close, very similar. So no matter which strand you get, um, they're both very nice. And Andrew says, I would probably mix them with antique silver, maybe hill tribe silver. That'd be cool. Gold would also be very nice with this color, right? That's a beautiful amber color, but these are horn. They are horn. All right. And so those are $32 a strand. You get a lot in that strand for $32. You make a pair of earrings, sell it for you know, you could, I don't know. I would sell earrings like this for at least $22, $24. You make up that strand money, no time, no time. All right, next up, 
Um, I technically have three strands of these, but there are two different. Um, <coughs> and I think somebody already bought, actually somebody already bought the small one. So I do not have the small one. So thank you, whoever that was out there. Um, these are little stick horn beads, but they are carved. It's going to be super hard to show you. They are carved in the shape of birds, everybody. And they got a little white eye on most of them. <clears throat> so at first I just looked at these and I thought they were sticks like the other ones, but these are actually each carved to look like a bird. Now these probably should be more than what I, what I put on the price on these, but these are $15 a strand. There are two strands of them available. They're nine inch strands. They're approximately four by 15 millimeter little birds. And like I said, each one, you can see its eye. You're going to probably have to look at the photos in the online store to see it better, but they have a, each a little beak, a little eye. Um, Andrew says they call this a fetish cut, a fetish cut. So these are $15 each strands. Um, there's at least one of them left cause I'm still seeing it on my computer. Um, but people are buying these. So thank you. Somebody bought the small strand. We had a small seven and a half inch strand. That one's gone already. We have these nine inch strands, uh, $15 each. If you wanted the Donna got one of those. So either one of these, or you got the, the shorter one, I'm not sure, but there you go available in the online store right now. Um, spacers would show that a bit better. Yes, Bonnie, spacers would show that a lot better. But the nice thing that they did about this is they didn't put the spacers in to make the strand longer. Like we could have put spacers in here and made this strand much, much, this could have been a double strand probably at that point. But instead they saved the space and you get a lot more on a strand um, because of that. So $15 each available in the online store. All right, there's two of the long ones left. There's only one of the short ones. Donna may have gotten that shorter one, or maybe she took one of the long ones. Who knows? Who knows, right? But we appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Um, love hearing that bell happen. Um, and the last of the horn collection that we have for you today are these. And I can't imagine these aren't going to sell quickly because I know people who look and search high and low for things like this. These are toggle buttons um, carved out of horn. This is a set of three of these. They're approximately 20 millimeters at the widest and by 50 millimeters length. And um, they're $10 only for the set of three. So if you have like a horn toggle coat, um, I know my old boss always looked for these because he had a horn toggle coat. Um, like one of those duffel coats, uh, English wool and all that good stuff. And he was always looking for real horn toggles like this. Um, Andrew said this was also make an awesome clasp, right? You can do a lot of stuff with this, um, whether you use them on clothing, make jewelry out of them. They're a good deal. Three of them for $10. You get all three for $10 available right now in the online store. Andrew said, I used to have a coat like that, right? There goes a bell. I don't know if that's these being sold. Nope, they're still in the online store. So something else sold. So thank you, whoever that was. Um, lots of great, great things today to show you all. So that's the end of the horn section, um, which I think is really beautiful. And remember, super limited in quantity in these. Super limited in quantity. Most of these have only one or two items of each. <coughs> Excuse me. There goes another bell. Thank you, whoever that was out there. Not sure what you're all grabbing, but we appreciate it so very much. Andrew said, mix this with amber and antique silver. Yeah, those horns, that'd be beautiful. Amber and antique silver with that. Like just to get a color idea, like look at it with, look at it with the, what would be like an amber color. And then like, let's, let's put some silver in there. That'd be a beautiful combination, right? So that's that. That is that for now. Um, now we have gemstones. So today, mostly we're going to focus on um, tourmaline and beryl. We have tourmaline and beryl available. So we're going to start, and I have all these in bags so that I don't get myself confused. So it's going to take me a little while to open the bags and close the bags. So I apologize for that. Um, but first up, we have tourmaline smooth nuggets. Look at how beautiful these nuggets are. And I took pictures of these in the daylight. Um, hopefully the pictures look okay. I realized I didn't even, y'all, it's, it's pretty, um, it's, it's pretty wonderful when I don't have to edit a picture. I went through the photos and I started editing the pictures of these, you know, we always try to edit them for color and, and, you know, make sure it looks the right way. I didn't have to today. 
these just looked beautiful because I had perfect daylight to take pictures of these with today. So I didn't even have to edit the photos. So what you see on the photos is a non-edited version of these. Um, I didn't even do like the normal, I usually do um, the vignette around the edge. Didn't even have to. It just, you know, the attention was already there. So these are in the online store. These are approximately seven millimeter by 10 millimeter nuggets. They're about a 14 inch strand and they're only $12 a strand, everybody. $12 for that beautiful, beautiful tourmaline. These are beautiful in color. Um, we have about three strands of each gemstone available. We like to, you know, do things in threes. It's just, what's, it's what works out and what we seem to, you know, we don't buy a lot of anything at once. Um, Cause that's just not the way we are. Oops, something just fell. I don't wanna lose the track of that. We're more boutique -y, you know, uh, on how we do things. So you don't buy a lot of anything. So you gotta grab it while we have it. And here's just, this is another strand of those. Just to show you, all of the strands are beautiful. They're all very nice strands. So they are available to you, uh, tw uh, $12. Seven millimeter by 10 millimeter smooth nuggets in tourmaline. 14 inch strands. All right, so that's that one. Uh, Andrew says, I was going to sleep more today, but instead me and Barnaby sat in a ray of sunshine. That's, that's nice. That's a nice thing to do. Bonnie says, I like them on the driftwood shows nicely. Yeah, something that's the blue back. There's something I realized with the blue background and this color of the driftwood shows off stuff really nice just to have that contrast. Um, Andrew says, I would love to buy a lot, but you know, we do what we can do, right? Helen says, Facet of Rondells is my bread and butter. Well, well then, well then, let's take a look at some Faceted Rondells. We have Tourmaline Faceted Rondells coming up next. They are three millimeter by four millimeter Faceted Rondells. Let me get these out of the bag. And these, these are only $18 a strand, everybody. $18 a strand. Look, look at those. Look at those. $18, $18, that's crazy talk. Look at how beautiful those are. Beautiful faceted rondelles, approximately four by three millimeters or so. And this is about a 13 inch strand, $18 only for those strands of beautiful, beautiful tourmaline in faceted rondelles. Trying to keep them, they wanna roll off the log. <laughs> I'm gonna roll off that driftwood. Should get my. Uh, the, this is the larger piece. Maybe sometimes when I turn it this way. Sometimes when I turn it this way. Bonnie says, "Great price, thank you." Andrew says, "You better double check the price, right?" I know. I don't know how. Andrew did some great buying. Eighteen dollars, y'all. Eighteen dollars. Wow. These might show up better on the blue, even. I don't know. That pink really stands out on that blue. But the, the white balance goes crazy a little bit. Anyway, so there you go. $18. Um, three strands of those only available. Andrew says, I'm a professional shopper. I'm just going to show you another strand. So you know, out of those three strands, that's not, I didn't just pick like the prettiest to show you. We don't do that. Literally, I pulled one out, whatever one it was, to take pictures of and to show you. But there's another one. Lots of black tourmaline on there. You get all the different colors on there. Helen says, well, shoot, best order now. Yeah, get those orders in, only three of each. These are the faceted rondelles and tourmaline. We're gonna have some barrel faceted rondelles too. They're really super pretty. Um, they're all available in the online store right now. If you wanna buy them, <clears throat> let's keep that bell ringing. Let's keep Let's keep that energy going. I like that energy. Um, the last tourmaline we have, let go, let go. The last tourmaline we have are smooth rounds. Tourmaline smooth rounds. And this is a 14 inch strand of six millimeter smooth rounds. You are gonna 
cry because this is such a good price. $12. $12 for that strand. Look how beautiful that tourmaline is. Smooth round beads, six millimeters round, 14 inch strand for 12 bucks, everybody. $12. How do you do that? I don't know. Andrew did some great shopping. And I'm going to tell you, like I'm looking at my screen and the colors look okay. These are rich in person. These are beautiful, beautiful rounds in tourmaline. Um, and I'm going to show you another strand just so you know. I didn't pick just the best. I randomly picked one of the strands here. So here's another strand. There's another one. Look, you couldn't even tell them apart. They're both so nice. They're both so nice. Look at that indica light on that one. That one beautiful indica light. Oh, so nice. Beautiful strands. $12 only, 14 inches. All right. Six millimeter rounds, smooth the rounds. Smooth rounds are great for bracelets. They're great for spacers. They're great for earrings. There's a bell. Thank you so much, whoever that was. I like that sound. That sound tells me I can buy groceries tonight and we can put some money toward Tucson, hopefully. All right. Oh, my computer. There it goes. Okay. We're going to get into some barrel now. Barrel. You know, aquamarine, I think what, morganite is barrel, I believe. Um, barrel beads are often lovely. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. And I'm going to show you these, and you're going to be a fan, I think, too. There's another one. Thank you so much, whoever that was. We appreciate it. So the barrel smooth nugget beads. Look at how pretty, how light in color those are. I love how beautifully light in color those are. Some of them have that blue tint like your aquamarines. Some have a little bit of pink in them. It's such a pretty, pretty stone. And some of them are almost clear. I love these. Um, normally when we see barrel, it's usually in the green or blue. And I just love the fact that these are such a light color. These are $18 a strand only. Six millimeter by nine millimeter smooth barrel nuggets, 14 inch strand, $18 only, $18. Isn't that crazy? Helen says, that's me. Thank you. Marianne and Helen out there. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. <clears throat> Bonnie says, I've never seen that stone before. Barrel, um, you may have, if you've seen aquamarine, aquamarine is a type of barrel. Um, there are multiple types of barrel. It's kind of like um, corundum, which is sapphires and rubies. Um, it's kind of like people know them by their names sometimes, but not actual barrel, the name barrel. <clears throat> Andrew says, usually for saturated colors, prices go up. We have a little bit more saturated color and some more prices going up a little bit after. I'm, I'm starting out with the these because they're lovely and they're only $18 and they're such a pretty, pretty shade of this color, this light, light barrel. All right, so that's one of them. <clears throat> one of the barrels we have, it's B-E-R-Y-L, by the way, B-E-R-Y-L. I know my pronunciation probably sounds like a barrel, like you would go over the falls, hopefully don't go over the falls, but you can go in your barrel. This is also barrel. Andrew says, I love the soft blush of color, right? They're so nice. All right, next up, we have uh, Barrel Smooth Rondelles. Starting to get a little more saturated in color in these. These are like such a beautiful mossy color. Mossy blues, mossy greens, mossy yellows. And this is Smooth Rondelles. They're approximately three millimeter by five millimeter. And this is about a 13 inch strand, $20 only, $20. Barrel is one of those stones that can be very expensive. Um, so getting this <clears throat> in this beautiful color for $20 is amazing. Bonnie says, I have purchased aquamarine. Yeah, that's, that's part of this family. Susan says, very pretty. Bonnie says, that's my jam, right? Look at those. 
I don't know if they'll be better on, no, they're better on here. There goes another cell. Thank you so much. I love hearing that bell. That's so nice. Music to my ears, everybody. Look at those colors in there. And you know what? I'm, let's see if I can get this phone because <clears throat> I want to hit these with the light for y'all. <clears throat> oh, come on. Turn on light. Marion says they are pronounced the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I want to make sure people know how to spell it so you can find it in the online store. But look. Look at that color. Look how beautiful that is. It's hard, it's hard to see. It's better. I think my pictures came out pretty good, though. Um, Donna says, gosh, William, this is great. Gosh, Andrew, because he Andrew is the one that found all of these and got them for us at such a good deal that we could offer this kind of deal. $20 for this to you? Pretty amazing. Um, Andrew says wire wrapped silver would be amazing or even satin gold, right? Yeah, let's, let's look. Where's, do I have, hold on, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Look at this. I grabbed some satin gold chain. Look how beautiful those are with something satin gold. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. And I usually like silver. I usually like silver. But with satin gold, that really, really looks beautiful. All right, so look at that, look at that, look at that. Mm, 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 right? There goes a cell. Thank you so much, whoever that was. We appreciate it. Bonnie says, I bought so much last night that I must take a breather. We appreciate that, Bonnie. We appreciate that. So I'm going to open another one of these just so y'all... Um, no, that's not the right one. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, I misplaced the rest of the bag. Sorry, everybody. I thought I had it, but I don't. But I don't. I don't know where it went. I must have left it out with my photos. Must have left it out with my photos. So sorry about that, but um, they're all nice. Believe me. Marianne says, mine. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Teresa says, bought horn sticks, toggles, and tourmaline rounds. Thank you. All right. Let me put those back in. No, I can't put them back. I don't know where they are. I'm put them in this other bag, though, so that doesn't go missing. I always like to put smaller um, bags in bigger bags so they don't go missing on me. All right. Um, let's see here. We have these next. These ones. Next up. We have faceted rondelles. Um, these ones are three by five millimeter, three by five millimeter faceted rondelles. Donna says, I agree, William, the matte gold makes the beads pop, right? These are three by five millimeter faceted rondelles in barrel. Beautiful colors. Again, it's this mossy barrel that is so, so pretty like the Moss Aquamarine that everyone's raving about right now. And again, throw some of this, this satin gold with those. Look how beautiful those are together. So these ones are $32 a strand. These are a nicer quality and they are a faceted rondelle. Um, again, three by five millimeter, 12 inch strand approximately. And only three strands available. Let me just open another one. I do have these ones here. Let me open another one just so I can show you. See, there's another one. 
just as beautiful as the first. I like them with that gold. I like them a lot with that gold. Oh. <clears throat> Andrew says, I almost want to mix this with beach glass and pearls. Wouldn't that be pretty? Wouldn't that be pretty? So there you are. Those are faceted rondelles in barrel, three millimeter by five millimeter, 12 inches strands, $32. $32. Marion says, yep, definitely going to use goldish findings. Good, good, good. Or maybe those ancient Roman glass pendants. Oh, I have those. I have those I can show. Let's get, let's get fun here. Let's get fun here. Look at those. That's one of those Roman glass pendants. There's another one of those Roman glass pendants. These are in the online store too, I believe. Um, look at them. We got all these beautiful Roman glass pendants. And I don't know if these colors, let's, let's look. Let's look at these pearls. I have peacock pearls here. I want some peacock pearls. Look at that. Look how that gold, as soon as you set those peacock pearls by that gold, that gold comes out of the color in those peacock pearls. Did you see that happen? I saw it happen right before my eyes. <clears throat> Suddenly, they went from silver color to gold. Andrew says, I would do white pearls. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hey y'all, you know I love, you know I love peanut pearls, right? How about that? How about those little peanut pearls there? How about that? Marion says golden pearls. I don't think I have golden pearls. Andrew says bling, right? Look at that. All starting from this beautiful barrel, these faceted rondelles. This is what we're trying to sell today, everybody. But if you want any of this other stuff, we've got it, obviously. You can send us an email. But these are three by five millimeter faceted rondelles. It's a 12 inch strand. Look at how versatile it can be with all the stuff we sell. Um, oh, is this a tutorial? No, it, it seems like it, right? It could be a tutorial. Someone, Carly Stone is asking out there on YouTube. No, we do tutorials on Tuesdays though, so you can tune in for our tutorial Tuesdays. But this is just, just to show you when you can start with one thing. This is the one, the one strand we're looking at selling tonight. This is the new strand of gemstones, but you can match it with all the stuff you get from us, like the ancient Roman glass. This is 2000 year old, well, older than that actually, over 2000 year old glass that's set in bezels to turn it into a pendant made by the Romans. We have this beautiful, beautiful satin gold chain. We have lots of satin gold chain. We have the peanut pearls here in white. I don't know if the peanut pearls are in the online store anymore. We might only have them in the physical store. Andrew says, the nice thing is that when, is that depending on what you pair with it, it'll bring out different qualities and attributes, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So let's 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 take these away a little bit. Even though we have one more strand to show you, and you're gonna go crazy over it, I think. Cause I did. Let me put these away. All right, so there we have those. Let's put those so we can put those back where they belong. Let's wind up our chain so we don't get too messy. Jen's coming in for classes tomorrow. I can't leave the place on devastation like I sometimes do. Last strands of the evening. <clears throat> These are faceted rondelles again, three by five millimeter. You're like, but why are you doing a different one? Why you just showed us that? These are different, everybody. These are different. These are different. Look at these ones. You want some nice color? 
Look at that barrel. Ooh, they're so nice. They got tassels. Look at that. Look at all those colors. It's like it's like that. It's like that. What what's that corn that has all the different colors on it? Beautiful. That's what it is. Here's another one of these strands. Just so you know, we're not picking the nicest one to show you on camera. And then we send up, send you the, the junky ones. There's no junky ones here. There's no junky ones here. There are no junky ones here. I'm trying to get my grammar right. Anyway, there's that one. Let me show you the last one, just so you know. Just so you know. Indian corn. There you go. So there's, and here's, here's the last one of those. So we have three of those strands available. Again, five by three millimeter faceted rondelles. These are nine inch strands and they're $30. Um, they're shorter than the ones before, but they're more colorful than the ones before. If these were as long as the ones before, they'd be a lot more um, than 32, but these are not the most expensive strand tonight, but look at it, look at it, look. Let's, let's throw, wanna, oh, thank you, whoever that was out there. Thank you for making a purchase. You can purchase all this stuff in our online store right now. Look, you want you want these pearls? You want those pearls? I think those pearls go better with it. Um, let me see something. I want to see something. Okay, okay. So let's take a look here. So um, Carlos asking, where's the link to the online store? Right there or in the description of this video. You can find it in the description of the video or it's right there, allegorygallery.com. So we have these, let's start with these. Look at these, look at these ancient quartz. These are ancient quartz pendants. How beautiful are those? These are done in a, in a brass, um, bezel, beautiful. I don't have my colors changing on my screen. Let's see if I can get the color right here. Color better with some more light. Look at how nicely those would go together. And if you got some of these things from yesterday's show, I put my hand in there the color stays right look at that look how something like that would work with those that color scheme or maybe these from yesterday's live that we did or go a different route and go with more coppery or brassy colors in there how those would be and then this look at this large silver one add that with some of that decorate those so there's a lot of different things you can do these are from our show yesterday that we did. So if you missed that live, you can check that out. We went through a lot of our beads from all over the world yesterday. And any of those would be super nice in here. I'm trying to put my hand in here because the color balance, it gets too warm. See how it gets warm? Got to keep it cool a little bit because this is the correct color. Um, Amanda says you're making kits almost right now the these pearls I don't know if they're in the online store the peanut pearls if you need those you can send us an email Let me put our email up there too. There's our email if you want to ask us about those just send an email We can invoice you and ship those to you um, any of these items you can uh, Send us an email as well. You can uh, we, we showed that off in yesterday's video So you can check that video out all the instructions on how to get those are there um and so, yeah, these ancient quartz, I think the ancient quartz pendants might be in the online store. They used to be. I don't know if we still have them in there or not. Let me do a quick check. Um, let me just type in ancient and see if they pop up. They are. They are ancient Nepalese quartz charms. So those are in the online store. Um, I think we have Roman glass, the Roman glass um, pendants also in there. Let me see if they're still in there or not. Uh, they are, they are still in there. Um, so the Roman glass charms are in there as well. Uh, the Roman glass connectors are sold out, but, um, we can put more in if you want them or just send us a, 
just send us a message. Cindy says, I've been working so hard, went to a time warp, several hours passed, and I haven't budged from my desk. Glad I gl glanced at the sky and noticed it was dark. Yeah, good to see you here. Good to see you here. Um, Carly says, awesome. Thank you. Um, Andrew says, save the tassel and use it at the bottom of the bead for a focal. Yeah, like if you wanted to use one of these big beads, like you could use that tassel. Maybe steam it a little bit, steam it or iron it if you need to. Use that at the bottom. Do some things here, add some pearls with that in there. Look how beautiful that would be all together. If you wanted to go the gold route, you could use a, a golden bead here like this. Maybe incorporate some chain somewhere. You never know what you get into, right? Beautiful, beautiful together. Ah. Oh. Let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Helen says the pearls are online. Oh, good. I wasn't sure if there were any more in there or not. So peanut pearls available in the online store as well. Yes, they are. So you can grab those. They're only $26 a strand. Same price we have them on here. $26 a strand. These are vintage, vintage peanut pearls um, in the white color. Uh, and what vintage means in this case is that many of these were gotten before a lot of the pollution started happening and they used to leave them in to develop a better NACRA on them than they do now. They rush them to market a lot of times now, especially at this kind of price point, $26. Your $26 strand these days generally will not look as good as a $26 strand that's vintage like this. So those are $26 in the online store. Uh, Bonnie says, do you know how much? Uh, I hope I just answered that. I don't know if you're talking about the pearls or what you're talking about. Um, let's see here. Donna says, I do have some Roman glass beads from AG and some golden pearls that will go great with that barrel strand, right? This one, any of these barrel strands really, but these are super pretty because they have those beautiful yellows and bright blues along with that mossy stuff, that mossy green, mossy blue. Just beautiful, beautiful colored strands. Um, what is the big bead called? This one? These are, um, I believe this is Nepalese, but these are in yesterday's video. So if you missed that, check them all out because there are different ones. Um, I just pulled a few. So you really want to make sure you get the ones that you want. Um, if you want that particular one like that, just take a screenshot now and send it to us in an email. That's the way we do it. All right. Um, Marion says, I have some golden pearls from AG and some smaller Roman glass beads. Nice. Andrew says, the quartz is hand carved and is over 1,000 years old. The quartz was excavated in Mali in West Africa. So these ancient quartz, they call it ancient because it is ancient. It's over 1,000 years old. Um, hand carved ancient quartz. And these are set in Nepal in these bezels. The Druzy charms, the ancient quartz charms. Let's see here. They're in the online store. Just type in ancient in the search bar and they'll come up. They are $12 a piece. $12, just check them for you. $12 a piece. All right. So that's what we have to show you today. Didn't even think I was going to get into all this, but look at how pretty these are together. Like, how could you not get into that? Right? So there you go. Um, most of all of this, these are in the online store. These are in the online store. Um, even some of these may be in the online store. Uh, the Roman glass connect or coin, the Roman glass pendants. These are in the online store. Just type in Roman glass and you'll see those pop up. And the barrel, of course, is in the online store. I did that earlier today. So look at all that. Um, and if these aren't in the online store and you like them or like things like this, check out yesterday's video that we did from Beads Around the World. And um, uh, we asked you to take screenshots of anything you saw and send it to us. I did not get all of those sorted out today. I did tell you it takes a little while for those kind of things. So um, I'm still working on those and I will be gathering those over the next day or two and getting invoices out. So thank you all so much. Let me flip the camera around really quickly. Um, or not so quickly as um, this program doesn't allow a quick switch around. Let me raise this up so it's ready to go. And hello. So um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you like this. Um, 
Teresa says, love the look of the website. Thank you. I tried to make the website. If you missed this in the beginning, um, when we were talking about it kind of beginning, uh, I updated the website a little bit on the homepage today. Um, and that was to make things hopefully easier for y'all to find. Uh, we used to have big collections and you had to scroll through them to see everything. Um, now there are, what is it? One, two, three, four. There are four sections across the top that say shop for, and then there are five, four or five um, collections within that. Everything pretty much that you would want to try to find, uh, the main ideas of our website kind of are there. So um, they're not hidden anymore as much. I think a lot of times, if we didn't have a collection on the homepage, it was hard to find. Um, so now, if you want gemstones, they're right there. You want glass beads, you want art by Andrew, it's there. You want pearls, right there, easy to see. You wanna find the vintage seed beads easily, boom, it's right there to find. Um, they're all in alphabetical order. You can take a look through them. It only takes a few seconds to look through them all. Um, and then anything, that we're trying to showcase or that's kind of on sale or is a little bit harder to find is below that. So the mystery boxes are right below that. Um, Andrew's Strange Harvest paintings are below that. And then we have Last Chance. We have that Last Chance gemstone sale. It's still going on until midnight tomorrow, 11.59 p.m. tomorrow night. Use code Last Chance to save 15% on those. Um, there's some nice things in there. Uh, a $480 sapphire strand is a nice time to save 15%, right? So we have these chunky, chunky sapphires if you want those still in there. Um, we have the AG Wooden Pendant Retirement Sale, so all the pendants that are being retired. Um, hopefully we're going to get our laser fixed quickly. Um, as I was saying in the beginning, we did get... Um, we did get news from them. There is an issue with the laser. They're working with us to help solve that issue. It's not something we're doing wrong. So there should be an end in sight to this and it should be a good ending. So um, the pendant cell is still going on and we will probably keep that cell going on until we figure out what's going on with the laser and then we're gonna try and make everything and make it good. Um, Gemstones is below that. And then the latest editions is under that where all of these items that I showed you tonight, you can find in the latest editions collection. You can also find them in the gemstone collection for the gemstone, the horn and the gemstones. Um, buttons, those are generally in the gemstone. The pendants will be in the pendant collection. You know, you know how it works. Um, so I tried to make the website shorter and more intuitive. So all the collections are above, then the stuff we're showcasing, you scroll down and see that. And then our blogs below that, check out our blog because there's good stuff in there, right? Um, the Inspired by Reading Book Club, it's up and running. We got the book list out, grab the book, start reading it. I even started through um, part of the first book and I love it so much. So um, you can do you can do that with a book, you can do that with audiobooks. Um, you can get it from your library, you can get it from your local bookstore. We have links on our book list that you can link to Amazon. We get an affiliate link from that, so we do make a little bit of money on those if you purchase that way. Uh, get the, we get a cut for it, which is nice. Um, if you add anything else to your Amazon cart, we get a little cut on that too, apparently. So um, that's, that's news. I had to research that, but that's right. Um, so yeah. If you have anything else to buy on Amazon while you're doing it, throw it in your cart with our books with our link. Make sure you use our link. And then we get a little kickback, so we appreciate that. Um, and so the book club's up. Uh, we have Beat in the New Year. You all have been going crazy on Beat in the New Year, and we appreciate it. So um, we have our calendar out. That's in the blog as well. I think that's the first post on the second page of the blog. You can download the calendar. There are links to our online store in the calendar if you don't have stuff and you want to purchase stuff. Um, and yeah, TGB is next weekend. We talked about that in the beginning. I'm not going to talk about it too much again. You can rewind at when this is done and watch it then. Um, let's see. What else is everybody saying here? Andrew says half the mystery boxes are sold. Half of them. We have a small mystery box and a big mystery box. The small one is a surprise inspiration kit that, you know, I know you love our inspiration kits. At least I hope so. Um, and the big one is like our normal mystery boxes where we chuck a small priority box full of stuff um, and send it out to you. Mystery, mystery way. There's going to be, it's just the theme is Inspiration 2023. Um, let's see here. Teresa's great live. Thanks, William. Thank you for tuning in. Bonnie says, more importantly, what's for dinner? I don't even know at this point. Um, 
Anderson beat in the new year. Got that. Uh, Teresa started the first book. Love it. Isn't it fun? It's a fun book. Um, oh yeah. Bonnie loved your troll doll. It was so cute. That was super cute. So if you didn't see Bonnie's troll doll, um, she used sorry silk in her project. You don't have to make jewelry, everybody, right? You can, you can do other projects too. Um, use sorry silk on the troll doll. That was cute. Um, Andrew says we have a tomato that needs eaten. Well, there you go. We'll, we'll eat a tomato. Uh, I don't know what we're going to put with the tomato yet. Um, Teresa says I'm a little behind in being the new year. Posted a necklace today. That's fine. That's fine. You can use it all year long. You can finish it up all year long. Doesn't matter. The idea though is to, if you want inspiration, it's there for you. That's what the calendar's for. Marianne says pizza. Nice. We had pizza the other day. It's kind of sounding good again today. I've been hungry for pasta, but Andrew hasn't. So we'll have to see. Um, Andrew says it's a lot of fun seeing all the designs being made for Beat in the New Year. It sure is. It sure is. And it's, you know, y'all post a lot of designs all throughout the year in the design challenge group. That's Allegory Gallery Design Challenges group. If you're not a member of that group, let me put this up here. I can't make a link, but I can put what it that what it is. You can type that in um, or search for Allegory Gallery Design Challenges on Facebook. Um, y'all put a lot of stuff there throughout the year, but it's like it's like raining and pouring on us with all your inspiration and all of the things you're making. And I love when that happens. So if you're looking for inspiration, hit up the design challenge group on Facebook, join the group, play with us for beat in the new year, and just take a look at what everyone's making for beat in the new year. So far we've had earrings, we've had necklaces, we've had bracelets, we've had work with sari silk. I'm missing something. What am I missing? What am I missing? Um, today was, Design jewelry using your favorite gemstone. That's what I'm missing. So favorite gemstone is today. Tomorrow is use check glass in your design. You know we love check glass. We have a lot of it. There's a lot of it in the online store. If you need some, go buy it. When we get it to you, then you can make it and you can complete day day six. Um, yeah, complete day six. Wow, day six already almost. Um, you can complete that when we get you your check glass if you don't have it already. Um, let's see. Bonnie says thanks all. Thank you. Um, Andrew says, it's even more fun on audiobook. Now I hear the kid's voice, loser, right? Loser. Yes, that it is. It's a really, it's a good audiobook to listen to. The first book in our book club, Inspired by Reading Book Club. You can search Inspired by Reading Book Club on Facebook and find us. Be careful. There's an Inspired by Reading page. That's not us. Make sure you go to Inspired by Reading Book Club. You can also get that link in our blog. Um, I think our blog right now, I think the very first post, yes, is Inspired by Reading. So get that, get the book list play with us, have fun, read some good books, make some good stuff inspired by those books. You don't have to make jewelry. Remember, you don't have to make jewelry for any of this, um, but we like jewelry too. Um, yeah. Uh, Bonnie says, I'm craving sushi, but not going out in this weather. It's pretty nice here. It's 46 degrees today, mostly a little bit rainy. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if it was raining that much today, actually, but it's, it's, it, was, it was actually pretty sunny today. So 46 degrees, pretty sunny. Um, it was nice. It's supposed to get colder though. It's supposed to keep getting a little bit colder, but we're still in the thirties and forties here. So can't complain too much for the middle of winter. Um, Suzanne says pasta arri arribata, arribata tonight. Pasta arribata. Good, good. That's, that's the angry pasta, right? Arribata. Is that the, the spicy angry pasta? Um, Andrew says, I laugh at myself hoarse when Serene talks about the delicate flowers of men's feelings. Yeah, it's such a good book um, because they flip the gender roles um, and how in this book, men are the delicate flowers and women are the strong ones. Um, I really like that. And it's so funny um, just because it's, it's not something you hear very often like that. And, you know, you should hear some of that more often. So it's really good. It's really good. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, if uh, Bonnie says, I need to find this book, local bookstore, if you have one, your library, if you have one, if you don't use the links to Amazon for us and we get a kickback. So I know you're buying from a big, a big, you know, a big company, um, but we do, they do kick us back a little bit too. So Marion says, Serene is my favorite character, right? All right. Um, so read the book, everybody. Read that book. It's good. Andrews is so sassy, right? They are. They're sassy characters. All right, everybody. Thank you so very much. Um, we're going to be back here tomorrow, probably, maybe. Um, it's class day. 
I don't like to interfere on class day too much. And we're going to be doing some road tripping to Johnstown and picking up some supplies. So um, I don't know if we'll be here at the regular time, if we'll be here on time, if we'll be here at all. But um, usually, you know, live at 5, most of the time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. But um, we'll let you know on our Facebook page if we have to cancel or if we are doing it at a different time, okay, as soon as we know. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. And remember, all this stuff is available at allegorygallery.com. So I hope you'll go there, help us out, get us some money for Tucson. Uh, we're working hard to try and build up inventory and, you know, gas costs a lot. So thanks so much, everybody. And we'll see you maybe tomorrow. All right. Bye now. Have a great night.